In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, good morning. Hope you are all doing well. Dear friends, happy feast of Saint Loyola Ignatius, uh, Saint Ignatius of Loyola, one of the greatest saints whose life has made the greatest impact uh, in the world for the past 500 years. Uh, Loyola Ignatius was born in a Catholic family in the, in the Basque country of Spain. Um, so well exposed to Jesus Christ, but in a sort of a lukewarm fashion, uh, nothing out of the ordinary. But he was more uh, caught up with the worldly things and worldly uh, ambitions, especially to be a great knight, a warrior, to win many uh, laurels, that sort of a life. But then during his uh, recuperation after his wound, he realized the treasure that is Jesus, the treasure that is God, uh, the most valuable uh, pearl. And then, as we hear in today's gospel, he completely made a turnaround of his life. He gave up all these worldly uh, ambitions and rather uh, wanted to spend all his life as a warrior for God, for Jesus. And uh, for that, he did not leave any stone unturned. He lo lost everything. He, he gave up everything. He sold everything. Uh, very true to today's gospel. Uh, sold everything in order to gain this treasure. Um, and all the hardships that he endured is not only his personal property, but he humbled himself to become a student once again uh, at the age of, uh, his, in his late 30s, uh, to la learn basic Latin once again, and then go for theological studies in Paris. And uh, then uh, little by little, with all the hardships that he endured, formed the Society of Jesus along with his companions. Um, many hardships he en had to endure. Even Jesus himself uh, once uh, gave him a vision. The father and the son, both of them, um, appeared to uh, Ignatius. And in fact, uh, they were talking between the two of them. Uh, Ignatius was uh, passing by and the two of them were uh, passing in the opposite direction, talking to each other, the father and the son. And they were saying, I will be a little bit more kind to him in Rome when he reaches Rome, meaning the hardships will be lessened in Rome. Uh, just like today's uh, first reading, the hardships of Jeremiah and God consoling him. And uh, he accepted everything totally uh, for the sake of his love, his treasure, Jesus and the Father. Uh, and they were his strength, as we even hear in today's uh, responsorial psalm, God being referred to. Uh, the strength, my strength, my strength. God was his strength. And so as we celebrate this great saint, Saint Ignatius of Loyola and the great contributions that he and his order have, have made and are continuing to make, uh, let us pray that we will also be aware of the evil in the society and strive to root them out for the greater glory of God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this great servant of yours who knew that you are the treasure. It is only in gaining you that we uh, gain something in this world. But, but by gaining any material world, there is nothing at all that we have gained. Help us to be like him in rooting out evil and bringing in your kingdom values. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.